can I tell you, when people raise a very high bar for you, it's because they want the, hope, the nations to celebrate God in your life. This mediocre mentality we have that has endorsed mediocrity, you find out that people never rise for doing nothing. We keep clapping for ourselves. As a man of God, you preach a sermon that even you, you know that's not what God told you. You know that the Holy Spirit cannot breathe upon such a dull sermon, spiritually and intellectually dull. Okay, forgive yourself and go back and walk. You just assume because somebody who is your friend forever just came and said, what a brilliant sermon. And you actually believe that lie. Now, it's not about competition, but you need to charge yourself I listen to all my teachings for two reasons. One, to be blessed by it. But number two, to make sure I never remain at that level. It is a rule and a covenant without excuse. Listen, until you give your pursuit in life and destiny a business approach. A business approach meaning you have to be strict with yourself. Don't mark yourself, write an exam and organize speech and prize for yourself for doing nothing. There are nations, there are territories. Now God is sending us to the United Kingdom. You can imagine the hunger, tens of thousands of people coming. And there comes an ill-prepared preacher, not knowing what he's doing. You stand and you don't know what to say. Then you tell them God is going to move, nothing happens. You tell them God will heal, nothing happens. You quote all kinds of wrong scriptures. No. No. Can I tell you, I have taught you that there are many closed doors in our lives that are a sign of God's mercy. Because if that door had opened with our level of ill preparedness, it would take a long time to get those doors to open again. So God closes those doors as a sign of his mercy and challenges you to prepare. Joseph, make sure you are ready for Pharaoh before you ask the wine presser to make him remember you. Because when you stand before Pharaoh, it is a dream to interpret. If Joseph had messed up, he will go back to the prison and remain there forever. I made up my mind that I was not only going to be a spiritual preacher but that my communications will come with a blend of spirituality and intelligence for God's sake that when you are teaching people they must find a point of applicability there must be intelligence no matter the mysticism and how uh, mysterious what you are communicating is learning from Jesus you must be able to break down kingdom mysteries in a way and to a context that people can understand and find a point of applicability in their lives.